Hi, Steve Adams here, CEO and founder of Tiger Medical Institute. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about is preventative medicine right for you? A detailed review. Well, I love this quote. Uh, America's healthcare system is in crisis precisely because we systematically neglect wellness and prevention. And this is none other than Senator Tom Harkin from Iowa, who would know a little bit about the workings of our public health policy. So let's talk about the pros and cons of preventative medicine. And you know, we live in a society and culture that is radically different than just 20 to 30 years ago. If you're over 40 years old, you grew up in an era that was different than what we experience today. We grew up in an analog world and we were able to unplug and we could, um, you know, get away from the television set and we can create space or margin. In today's world, that's increasingly difficult to do. We're just overwhelmed by screens and technology and entertainment options. And our work is always on, always available. And so we're really having a hard time unplugging. And so individuals that are over 40 are commonly experiencing anxiety, uncontrolled stress, sleep disturbances, mood problems, and challenges with emotional control and it's all because we're depleted because we activate the stress response continuously, chronically. And when we do that, we usher in a whole host of neurochemicals in our body that if we don't change that picture, it turns into chronic disease later in life. And so when you get to middle age, the bill starts to become due. And that's where I was. And so, um, you know, if you are middle-aged individual and you have a ton of responsibility, and you're feeling mental and physical exhaustion, you're struggling with, reta with retaining weight around your waistline, maybe you got brain fog, you know, maybe you just lack the productivity and the energy and the focus you used to have and you have to resort to caffeinated drinks to get through the day, well, then this video is gonna be for you because um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the, you know, if a preventative medicine program is right for you instead of or in lieu of bypassing a traditional healthcare system, which really focuses on sick care. Now hear me, we're not saying anything bad about all those great doctors and nurses out there who work in the traditional system. If you get sick, you're gonna to wanna to work with them. They do a phenomenal job, okay? It's just that the model that they're trained in and that they work in is not built for preventative medicine. So the goal of this video is to help you understand what it is and if it could be right for you, okay? so. In this article, I'm gonna go over four major areas. I'm gonna go do an, a quick overview of what preventative medicine is as an approach. I'm gonna talk about grading criteria for the review, what the pros and cons are, and who's a good fit, okay? So as an overview, preventative medicine is an approach that is holistic, it's comprehensive, and it's proactive. It's not an event, but a process where the individual learns to make lifestyle changes, form new habits, all to improve their inner physiological environment for their cells to thrive, okay? Do you see the research that's coming out now all supports the idea that your genes are not your destiny, but that your health is determined largely by the environment you create inside your body. And guess what? You get to choose what that environment is. So the goal of preventative medicine then is to redesign patient lifestyles to support their medical transformation investment and clients typically are gonna see an improvement as a result of this investment through root cause testing, which then leads to very targeted treatment where you're not guessing anymore, you're not playing doctor on Google, um, and you're not listening to your buddy's advice, you're actually talking to a clinician who is actually finding the root cause, the truth about where your health is, and is able to help you, you know, make changes now before it's too late. That's the whole idea of preventative medicine. So let's grade some different areas. So let's talk about the approach. The approach, I give it a grade A. Here's why. Functional medicine doctors, these are the type of doctors that do this root cause uh, preventative approach. Um, they do this through testing, which is um, advanced, and it, it comes from a different perspective as it's looking for underlying mechanisms in your physiology that are driving sick potential sickness and accelerated cellular aging, okay? So 
they start with the philosophy of what makes your cells thrive and then work backwards from there. So this could be comprehensive testing, it could be imaging data, um, all of which is gonna provide a mosaic of data for them to connect the dots and find that unique pathway for you to optimal health. And it's gonna require lifestyle change, the implementation of habits, perhaps targeted supplementation, as opposed to prescription drugs, which are the tools of choice of you know, the traditional medical system. All right, let's talk about the science. I give that a great A. Preventative medicine physicians are trained you know, in board certified medical schools, they're trained in the hard sciences, they use evidence-based methods, and treatments are rooted in sound research. From there, the principles of root cause functional medicine are applied in the testing, the diagnosis, and in the treatment phase. Okay, let's talk about another grading area, personalization. I give this a grade A. Personalization occurs on several dimensions in preventative medicine. First, this will happen if your physician uses genetic testing, which is the ultimate in personalization because no two individuals have the same genetic markers. And when genetic testing is used, uh, this enables the doctor to understand your weak areas and support those weak genetic markers, you know, through, you know, supplementation and other lifestyle changes. Second, based on extensive health history intake processes, um, physicians can customize your testing, you know, to personalize your results and then that fits your health profile. And from there, you're able to get a personalized treatment plan. Um, it's not just following an algorithm that leads to a prescription drug. All right, the fourth area is called convenience, labeled convenience. I grade this a C. Listen, this ain't gonna be easy if you go this route of preventative medicine because um, you, know, you have lots of time pressure, you have lots of responsibilities. And so it's not convenient for you to go back to an office over and over and over again to do the next test, get the results, and then you know, find out what the implementation is of the lifestyle and habit changes to be able to get the result that'll correct that result, okay? It's not popping a pill. That's simple, that's easy, that's grade A convenient, but making actual real sustainable life changes, they're gonna lead to significantly positive outcomes, it's gonna take work. So uh, investment, okay, this is also a grade C and here's why. When you work on a proactive uh, preventative program, you're gonna invest your own money. It's not gonna be insurance that pays for this, okay? Traditional medical practices are built around an insurance or government-based payer system. And those systems simply do not pay for many preventative practices other than your annual very basic screening, okay? So the economics of a traditional practice are just not gonna support doing this type of deep dive into, you know, finding root causes of issues that you have that are gonna lead to disease if you don't prevent it, okay? And that's why you have to make an investment choice instead of um, simply, you know, having the mindset, I'm gonna outsource my healthcare to an insurance company and what they'll pay for. No, you've gotta flip that, you gotta invert your thinking and you've gotta become a health investor who expects a return on that investment. All right, let's talk about the pros of preventative medicine. Number one is it's a functional root cause approach. Tremendous approach. B, number two, uh, it's a sound, innovative science, okay, that's being applied. Three, it's comprehensive and it's multi-therapy, meaning it's gonna approach your whole body, all the systems. Number four, it's gonna be supported by a doctor or a coach who will help you implement the change. And then number five, it's highly personalized to match your unique needs. The cons, mostly around money and convenience. Number one, larger one-time investment of personal funds. Number two, it's not covered by insurance. And number three, it requires more time for office visits and testing. So let's talk about who's a poor fit. If you're merely interested in change and learning about health, but you lack the commitment or the readiness for change, then you're not a good fit, okay? If you expect instant results, you're not a good fit. If you're over busy and you're not going to implement the changes, you're not a good fit. Okay. Um, uh, you know, if you are the type of person who blames the doctor for the lack of results rather than doing the work, you're not going to be a good fit. If you look at uh, preventative medicine as a cost, not an investment, um, you're not going to be a good fit. All right. If uh, you don't have the financial resources, and this is common for a lot of people, this doesn't make you a bad person. But if you just cannot make the investment and you've got to rely on your insurance plan, then you're going to want to stick with your primary care doc and not 
you're not going to be a good fit for this. Okay. So who is a good fit? Well, kind of the opposite of all of those individuals um, that thrive best in, in a preventative medicine system are aware of their health conditions or their need to know more. Um, they recognize the need for change. They're ready for change. Um, uh, they also understand that their current health happened over decades. And so they don't expect instant results. Um, they also believe that they can become healthier and they're willing to overcome and push through the steps that it takes to do this. Um, good fit clients are curious. They want to learn. They're coachable. Um, they can apply new disciplines and health habits into their daily routine. And then good fit, good fit clients prioritize their engagements with their physician as well. And finally, good fit clients have some financial resources to make this investment in their health. So next steps. All right. Well, hopefully by now you've got a good idea of what a preventative medicine program is. And, you know, for some, the financial investment is not feasible. That's understandable. For many years, most people do not have the resources to do that. Okay. Another way to do that though, is you could just start small. All right. Well, if you are in a place where you have the resources, you've identified that you're a good fit and you want to know more about the tiger medical preventative medical system, then I would encourage two approaches. Number one, go to our learning center on the tigermi.com website. All right. And go to the gray box on the left and pick solutions. And that's going to serve up several articles that are going to give you more uh, explanation of how we do preventative, proactive, personalized medicine. Uh, if you're ready to take the next step in your journey, then go to our, our um, main homepage and it'll say schedule a call. Click on there and you're going to get on the calendar of one of our professionals. And in that first call, it's going to be learning all about you, where you are, what you've tried before, you know, what level of pain are you, are you experiencing? You know, what is it costing you? And then we can determine if this is a good fit for you and then we can move to next steps from there. So I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.